Hi everybody, Steve here, and welcome to Dungeons and Dragons Idle Player. I think that's what this is called. <laughs> I'm suddenly uh, Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. It's it's a Dungeons and Dragons game though. I was way off, but oh well. <laughs> so this is this week's is it epic? Um, I did miss last week's, uh, I had the game downloaded, installed, you know, was ready to play it. The week just got away from me. Uh, so hopefully you've been paying attention to the Epic Store and were able to get that one and check it out yourselves. Um, uh, in my experience, it'll come around again. Most of the games do that are free on the Epic Store. So we'll get another crack at it. Uh, last week also had Alien Isolation again for free. So, uh, hopefully you got that and checked it out. Uh, this will probably end up being a shorter video than some of my other Is It Epic, because uh, this is a, 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 a it's idle champions of the Forgotten Realm, uh, Realms. It's a it's a clicker game. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, thanks, thanks social media pop up thing. All right, let's let's get back in here and pick up all this loot. But um, it's but yeah, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if this is also available on uh, mobile devices. But it's just, it's a simple clicker game. Um, let me turn off these familiars so you can get more of a sense of that. But we have our heroes here and we click to assist them to deal damage. Um, now, what uh, this is a free game, period. Get that bird, boom, gold. Um, but yeah, this is this is a free game, period. But uh, right now, get rid of all these paid content ads uh, or, or DLCs. Um, but uh, yeah, so for this week only, um, when you download, sign in, play, um, you get bonus heroes. Uh, these, I believe these, oh, thanks. Uh, these familiars are uh, a part of this week's sign in bonus. Um, so definitely, uh, if you're curious about playing this, checking it out, you know, again, free, uh, I'll have a link down in the description for you below to the Epic Store page. Uh, let's minimize that out of our way for a moment. So we can see those rocks. I saw a bounce. Bounce again. Oh, oh, fast bird. Oh, yeah, big bonus from that guy. Oh, and that was bouncing. <laughs> Gotta get that ep epic, extra epic loot. All right, but let's get these uh, familiars back out here. Boop -a -doop -boop. I can also put them, uh, if I wanted to, down on one of these guys, and they can auto-level that, that hero up for us. But uh, I prefer the damage bonus up here. Um, just wondering, because I hadn't really looked for it so far, if I could make this top bar... Uh, minimize like I can the top bar. But it doesn't look like it. But that's okay. Alright. Oh, oh, ah, dang. Saw that in the corner of my eye. But, uh, we, we're already actually done with this level. We've already... Uh, ah, dang it. We've already met all the requirements for here. Um, and I'm not even certain what we're helping out right now. Let's check the journal. Because it jumped me ahead a bunch of levels uh, in idle mode while I was off. Okay, this clearing looks familiar, Bruner. You're right. We def- uh, we, uh, I don't know what I was trying to do there. We definitely, uh, be going in circles. Let's set up camp for the evening. The Neverwinter Wood is not a good place to have gotten lost. Creatures attack your camp in the night. Defend yourself! <laughs> okay, let's head on to the next stage here. You guys, you, you good little helpers, you got this. We have enough coin, too. I could do some major leveling up. Uh, this clearing looks familiar. Uh, oh, okay. I forgot. When it unlocks the next part, um, we can look ahead at its dialogue. So we actually have the uh, bandit scum. Let's uh, get back to the road before it gets too dark to see anything. You've taken out the bandits, but seem to have gotten turned around. It's starting to get dark. Ah, oh, dang it. I, didn't, I missed the eggs there. Oh, we got bears. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Ugh. All right. But we're, we're already almost there to we can go to the next part. Let's get in 
our uh, fourth hero here, which is um, Jarlaxle. So we have Nayeli, Nay Nayeli, Celeste, and Bruner. And uh, just like most idle clicker games, if you've ever gotten much into those, um, the more you level them up, the more um, um, upgrades, benefits, however you want to describe that, they have. So uh, Bruner, obviously being our starting hero, has uh, the most power-ups so far. Uh, some are uh, affect themselves, some affect the team around them. So uh, he actually has one that those in the same column as him get a damage bonus. And I can, I can move these guys a bunch of different directions. So if I move him here, he's actually getting a damage bonus from Bruner as well, because he gets a um, he powers up anybody adjacent to him as well as in a column. So and you power up anybody adjacent to you, and you don't have any kind of ability yet. Okay. So next upgrades at level 100. Next upgrades at level 40. Ooh, we can get you to 40. No problem at all. So. Okay, hill champions in the column in front of Celeste for uh, for six every second. Okay, well, nobody's in front of Celeste right now. In fact, I should probably switch those two. You'll get a damage down, but you get a damage up, and, but you heal everybody in front. So I feel like that's a better setup. Uh, birds. <laughs> Got them both. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I think we can get this guy, Bruner, to 100. Yes, indeed. Increase the damage. Okay, so solo uh, upgrade. ba -boo ya So we're doing, uh, so in our DPS breakdown here, uh, so we can see the individuals and as well as our total. So most of our damage is actually coming from our new guy. No surprise there. Uh, usually your new heroes. Uh, what did I do to bring that up? Oh, I went over that spot. I forgot about that. But yeah, usually your newest hero in these types of games uh, is your most powerful. All right, let's get this back down. Oh, so, oh, that's cool. So shift is 10 levels, shift control is 25, control is 100, alt is level to next upgrade. Just wondering if it was going to tell me. Boop, boop, boop. I knew we had enough money to do that one. Okay. Unlo oh, so uh, we have a new ultimate. So these are their ultimate spots right here. Um, I mean, we're... I. I just let this run for a couple minutes when I, uh, a little bit longer than that. This game's easily addicting. Um, but yeah, when I, when I started this up, I thought maybe I'd get into a menu just to make sure it would work. And then I could, you know, bring you guys right along for the beginning of the game. But I mean, it, it throws you right into this and you just, just start going, which again, yeah, like most click, uh, clicker kind of games. No surprise. All right. So I do want to get this guy to level 10 as soon as possible for his first upgrade. Oh, hey. Notice that goblin in the bush there. Huh. Fast Crow gives you tons of money. All right. Let's go ahead on to the next area. We've been on this one far too long. We're just destroying the enemies. So uh, next area we'll... Um, Obviously, the stronger the area, the more money we get. After a fitful night with little sleep this morning and you're tired and hungry, scrounge for food. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's all about finding these berries, which is still based off of killing these bears and wolves. Sounds good to me. All right. So, level 20. Oh, level 60. Just looking at when their next level ups are. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, if I level up uh, our own click damage, um, these my little familiars that are doing the clicking for me will also uh, get a damage up. 
Oh, we're already done with this area. Should we move on? I mean, we're killing them fast enough. I should, probably should spend some time leveling up the cliff damage. There's not really a bonus to that, though, like there is for the heroes. Click. Ah. Kill all the things. Get all the points and all the money. Okay. I'm also one of those guys who doesn't like leaving their levels at weird numbers. <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and move on. We're not getting much out of this area anymore. We need it to be somewhat of a challenge. Something's not right here. The trees themselves in this area seem angry at you. Oh no, the trees are angry. We got Ents. At least it looked like an Ent. Let's see if I can see the name. Lesser Wood something. It's probably like a Lesser Wood spirit. I still didn't see it long enough to find out. Lesser Wood, uh, Woad? Sure. That sounds good to me. We're already almost done with this area, too. I, I, I just spent a little bit too much time grinding for money and leveling up. Which, I mean, nothing wrong with that for these types of games. I mean, that's a large part of the later area. So it just means I get to progress a little faster through some of these levels. <laughs> Got it. Took my hand off the mouse, and of course that fast one shows up. But yeah, so... um. Let's see, if I'm clicking like crazy, does the damage counter DPS go up? Probably. All right. Let's, what do I have in my inventory? I haven't opened some of these chests that, it, there's also a bunch, like all these chests are also from the, this week's deal. So let's, uh, let's open some of these actually. Uh, uh, we got a contract. Uh, 30 minutes worth of gold and tokens. Oh, that's cool. We got a medium potion of heroism. Uh, health of all champions uh, doubled. Okay. Oh, we got some robes. That's cool. We have a majestic rapier. And we have, oh, a blacksmithing contract. Gain two levels to a random piece of loot owned by the selected champion. Well, that's cool. So, like, this is level. These are level one. So they jump up to level three. That's cool. All right, let's. Gold Nova. Gold. I, I don't know which which ones are better. Black Viper. That's awesome. Let's uh. Sixteen and sixteen chests remaining. Open one. We could open all 16. Let's just go big or go home. Let's open all 16. Boom. What? Open five chests. Cool. You got some duplicate something, 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 because this. We got some duplicate items, and we must have got something for it. All right. A centipult. Uh, level, whoa, level 27 stingy. Clingy. Unstopped rot grubs. Wasp Nest in a Bag, and Smelly Skunk. And they're all for that character. Let's see, all loot. Epically equipped. That's cool. One Cobalt's Trash. Fully geared. That's awesome. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Effect increased by 2.4%. That's cool. All right, well, let's uh, let's just open up all this for Kroll, all 16 as well. Flip all cards. Experimental components, Maul of the Speechless, Poisonous Flask of Tiamat's Rage, Torn Fragment of Shell, Ball's Book of Bloodshed, and Fey Components. Well, that's cool. 
Find 20 pieces of gear of any rarity. Well equipped. Relics of Darkness. Sweet. So this was everything we found. Yeah, we got we got a lot of a lot of good stuff. All right, so Black Viper Chess. Treasure Chest Hoarder. Flip all cards. Ah, you lucky dog. You're making an old, an old dwarf very jealous. You got a shiny piece of gear. Shiny gear is super rare, more powerful than normal gear. Now that you got a shiny... I kind of made him into a pirate. I be a dwarf. <laughs> shiny. Shiny. <laughs> All right. Thieves Mask, the Black Viper's Rapier. Ostentatious display, the Viper's Fang, Spiked Gauntlets, and Noble Jewels. Cool, 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 cool. Evening wear. Notorious accoutrements. Purple Fever. <laughs> Man, we're getting epic stuff here. I imagine, you know, you'll get a lot of the same stuff because it's they seem like they're for specific characters. Uh, Adventurer's Cloak, the Battle of Tourmaline, Tourmaline's Trench Coat, uh, Rings Rock Pile, Trex's Wing, and Proof of Friendship. Because it's all about that friendship. Our collection complete. So meta. Uh, fully Geared Gang. Cool. I don't even have those guys. I might now. Flip all cards. Uh, contentious Crystal, Golden Gauntlet, Crystal Handle, Professor White's, uh, Whitsong's Book, Forge Goggles, and Hex Blade. Questions answered. Excellently equipped. Cool. Let's get out of there. And then if you happen to have some kind of access code, you can... Uh, get a special type of unlock, but I haven't looked into any of that yet. There might be some stuff online uh, where they might be like limited time events. All right. Well, I can't wait to get any of those heroes on my team, but we are long overdue with some level ups and moving on up. Ooh, so he's doing 52.3 million right now and boom now he's doing 104 million noise oh excuse me yeah all my guys are actually really powerful <laughs> got them both got him okay 60, 125, 20. Just because you are, yeah, yeah. We'll 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 rank uh rank up um Nayeli to 20 here. Boom. Increases the damage of champions in the column behind Nayeli. Interesting. So that uh ranks up um Celeste, our female human cleric. We have our uh, male shield dwarf fighter, male drow rogue, female human paladin. You're a paladin. Honestly, did not uh, expect that. Did expect you were a cleric, though. Okay. We're going to get this crow, and then we're moving on. Actually, I'm going to watch this bush. Because there's uh, some... Yep. Aha. I had a feeling that would happen. Now we're moving on to the next area. These guys are just happy. Dryad, interlopers, you and your people destroy our homes with your incessant adventuring. You stumbled into a Dryad's Grove and she doesn't seem too happy that you've been slaughtering her friends? Her forest friends. Hey, they attacked us. <laughs> we were just passing through. Oh, there's the Dryad. Which we're kicking its trash. All right, well, we've completed this area. And we just got a whole bunch of gems. Which gems you can use in the shop in the game to uh, unlock um, 
This rain isn't making things any more pleasant, Bruner. Suck it up, elf. Really, I should just talk like this. Not so much a pirate. Arr. Not the arr type of pirate. But just raspy. Been living in the ground all my life. Digging holes. Drinking mead. It's a good life. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get you to 60. One more. Uh, okay, so less damage. So less is like... Uh, okay, never mind. You're 100 million. You're just 1 million. 1.87. So you're still by far <laughs> the Jar 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 Jarlaxel is uh, definitely still my best damage dealer by far. But we can easily get you to 30. Uh, so I thought... Uh, happened to catch that in the corner of my eye. We're still way overpowered. I've been delaying going on and on. Uh, Arg, more than help us. This be the south edge of the Neverwinter or something, 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 something. Some, some, something. You, you know what I mean when I say something, something, something. <laughs> Look there, is that a farm? Perhaps the farmer can point us in the direction of the coast road. Perhaps the farmer can point us in the direction of the coast road. <laughs> I still try to make him sound like a pirate. Uh, we've gotten ourselves completely turned around. That's what he was saying here. Not so idle. Click 10,000 times. That's one I nice thing about these uh, familiars. They get me those... Uh, uh, their their clicks count... Their, their interactions, I guess, count as me clicking. Something like that. So I just uh, make a lot more progress. Okay, so self damage up. Booyah! Over eight million. Yeah, he may be a hundred and five million damage, but our DPS is still lower than that because he doesn't hit every second. He hits every couple of seconds, but he's doing ninety-two, almost ninety-three percent of our uh, uh, running damage. That's crazy. All right. Making some good money in this forest. Whoa, spider. Can I click on that when it drops back down? Yes. All kinds of ways I can interact in the background and get some extra, extra money. Money. <laughs> All right. I am going to try to up the click damage a bit. The cost of that goes up so fast, though. But additional five levels there, it, it went up. The click damage went up, like, exponentially. So, it's all good. Alright, who do we want to get up next? Uh, cost versus leveling. It's probably back to Bruner. Getting him up 25 levels is going to be cheaper than getting anybody else up uh, to their next upgrade goal. So, why not? Uh, there we go. I knew I could do it pretty dang quick. All right, damage up by 300%. Cool, cool. I like it, I like it. Huh. Frogs, giant frogs. Oh, hey, we can advance. Let's do it. Moving on to the next area. Checking out a farm. Uh, it seems a little quiet, and these cows seem a little frothy. You know, uh, shaken milk. It's frothy. <laughs> they just they just need to be milked really badly. That's that's what's going on, right? Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, who do I want to level up next? 150. Oh, he goes from shield master to battle master. Or do we pick one? Oh, we gotta pick one. So Bruner readies his shield, increasing the damage of those in the same column as him when nearby friends come under attack. 
Uh, Brunner focuses on developing his group tactics, constantly increasing the damage of those in the same column as him. So there's damage if we get attacked, or just damage. Uh, but bo either way, it's uh, in the column. Hmm, I'm not certain which one we want to go for, but probably probably we'll go with uh, uh, Battlemaster. Because uh, I want to uh, kill them before we get attacked. All right. Jeez, we got a lot of money right now. Let's uh, let's definitely get some leveling up going on here. Yeah, we're gonna get to 150. Huh. Bird. B -b -b bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. All right. You can choose which specialization you'd like this champion to have. Different specializations unlock different upgrades in the future. Don't worry if you don't know what to choose. You can change your champion's specialization every time you do a new adventure. Cool. So there's gonna be like a prestige kind of system or like a respec or reset with uh, bonuses. Uh, it sounds like, which again, really common in these types of games because you can only progress so far before it becomes really redundant. And the whole resetting, um, I mean, you re it's still a lot of repeat, but it, it adds a little twist to the game each time. Uh, okay. Rally ability by 100 or increases the effect of rally by 10% for 10 seconds whenever a champion is in. Hiccup. Uh, two slots of Bruner is attack. Stacks up to 25 times. Yeah, we'll just go with Battlemaster. That one sounds good to me. I'm missing out on tons of gold by being on that screen and reading too much. Okay. Oh, hey, we have enough to get uh, our female bard. Yes, half elf bard. <laughs> Got him. Get him. All right. Yeah, let's get him out here. Our damage is going to go through the freaking roof. Okay, surprisingly, not our number one damage dealer. But it is a bard, so I'm not surprised. There's probably going to be some other interesting um, benefits to uh, this character uh, uh, other than damage focused. All right, I will put you there because you are going to get a boost in your damage. All right, and who do we want to rank up next? Definitely not Bruner. Uh, probably will uh, bet that rock will shake. How much you want to bet? Yeah. You guys might have already seen it shake. I don't know. Some of these bushes might be shaking every now and then. I, I haven't been paying enough, close enough attention because so much other stuff is going on right now. All right. Okay. Boop -a -doop -boop. Boop -a -doop. But yeah, let's get uh, Celeste up to 80. That shouldn't be too difficult. Crows, haha. -ha. Okay, finish what we were doing here. And damage of just Celeste. But boom. Man, is our damage just flying up here. Alright, oh. Almost missed, missed the crow. We'll click on a few of these cows. These crazy cows! They've got, they probably have rabies. <laughs> okay, 25 was your next one. Which, honestly, we can probably easily get him to 25. Not re relatively easily compared to when we first got him to 10. All right, bird. And every time I want to go, bird, 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 bird is the word. Yeah, he's still uh, in the 70s. He's still doing, you know, more than two thirds, almost. Uh, three, two thirds, four fifths. Now, 80% would be four. It's, but yeah, almost there. Somewhere in that range. 
as I way overcomplicate what I'm thinking. You know how it is. You thought you could get past me. I saw you. And increases gold find by 25% for each drow or rogue champion in the formation. That's cool. So we now just uh, we just now earn more money. We only have one drow and rogue. I don't think it doubles for himself. Oh no, we have. Never mind. I'm like, hey, I was looking folks on the right, not look paying attention to the left. Yeah, my bad. All right, all right, we're doing good on time, but probably gonna start wrapping this up here soon because I mean, again, it's. It's a lot of the same stuff going on. I got to show off a, a few of the cool things. Uh, you, basically, you're, you're gonna be able to get um, a quick start uh, by playing it this week uh, with the with the bonuses, um, the, the login bonuses that Epic is giving out right now. Uh, now, make sure to watch this through Epic. Um, I ha again, I haven't looked to see if this is available on mobile devices. I will be checking for my phone here after this, uh, and hopefully I can sign into the same profile. Most likely you can, but, you know, we'll find out. You know, let's, let's go ahead and move on here while I talk. Uh, uh, we still get that gold. Perhaps the farmer is in a nearby village for the day. Yeah, his cows didn't eat him. <laughs> oh my goodness, this this is fun. This is this is a great game. Uh, so so yeah, let's let's summarize this. Is it epic? Yes. In that, this is a game I would play as a as a background game. Uh, whenever I'm watching a movie or. Uh, you know, just doing something else, and I just want to split my focus a little bit. Um, this is this is definitely one. Uh, how much gold do we got? Oh, almost two million. Let's do some more leveling up here. But yeah, this is this is definitely one where um, I I would have running while I'm doing something else. Uh, I might go into the settings, you know, jump in here, turn the volume down or something. Um, whatever I would need to do there. But uh, yeah, this is this is one I can see myself spending tons of time in and just getting lost in uh, while I'm doing other stuff. Would it be my main focus game? From time to time. Uh, but again, it's it'd be mostly just my background game, my, my casual game just to kill some time while I'm doing other stuff. But nothing wrong with that. I love those types of games. Those games are awesome. They're some of my favorite games. Satisfactory is is a game like that for me, uh, where I might be watching a video and I do that just to make a little bit of progress, just to lay some foundation, just to let it run in the background, to build up some more resources, uh, while I am really putting most of my focus on something else. Let's go ahead, move on here, because we are we're just dominating like usual, because I'm awesome like that. All right. Cursed farmer. You'll have to excuse me. I don't speak crazy. <laughs> it says curse, but it just looks like uh, the farmer's wearing a cursed medallion. Put him out of his misery. Why not just take the cursed medallion off? <laughs> okay. Um, and he is pretty much dead already nice what do we get from completing this oh hey more gems oh i meant to go to the store to check that out because i keep forgetting to uh to do that ah stupid nose but yeah there's uh well oh, we got dialogue here praise morden i recognize this roadway this is the trio board something let's just go to here uh, this is this be the tree bore tri -bore trail if we follow it west we should be reaching the coast in a couple of days uh, the tri tribor trail connects the inland village of tribor to the high road on the coast it's less traveled and prone to banditry all right cool so that uh, gives us our excuse what's going on here but yeah so shop there's 
there is so many more aspects to this game that I didn't even get into because I'm still early on in the game. So we have our shop here. I mentioned I closed that stuff early on, but there there is stuff you can spend actual money on. Or you have the in-game loot, like these gems uh, that you can buy chests and different things with. Um, now, I'm sure you can also spend real money to get gems, but, hey, eh, you know, whatevs. Uh, clicking automatically. So this is how you get some of the uh, familiars. Some of the auto-clicker stuff is through purchases using the gems. Uh, there's also some skins. Yep, some new looks. Uh, here's how you get the champions, which costs money. All right. Jeez. 10 bucks to 60 bucks. All right. Uh, so hot items, chests, gem items, packs. I could see myself someday spending a little bit of money in this game, but it, it, it would not be for a long time. This seems like it has a decent amount of playability before it's really even uh, Bardic Inspirations Volume 1. I got to check this out. Uh, contains no in-game bonus purchases. So that gives you the soundtrack for the game. <laughs> I kind of wondered, but that's awesome. Um, but yeah, um, it feels like there is a lot of playability, a lot of time to be spent in the game before I would feel the need to, to, um, spend any money on any areas. Uh, I mean, I have already a whole bunch of achievements, um, plenty more to go through, uh, in progress. We have our events. Yeah, we still got a long way to go for a lot of that. We are outdoors right now. I mean, I can hit M for a map, for the campaign map. We're in Neverwinter. There's still all this to go through. We have all of the, these areas. There's so much more to the game, basically. So for it being just a simple idle clicker, something, you know, that you can just uh, waste time on in the background while you're doing something else. Um, it still has so much left to it. So much more. So, huh, dang it, I missed that one. But uh, yeah, definitely encourage you to check it out. As usual, link will be below. Or if you already have an Epic Store uh, account, just launch that, go to the store, scroll down a little bit, and it's in the free section on that page. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to leave this here. I'll probably still play a little bit longer because I am addicted. Uh, but I'll be playing as I edit this video and put all that stuff together. Uh, make sure I didn't miss nothing there. It's been a busy day. As usual, 40. Let's get you to 40 and then... Uh, oh, all champions by 50% for each enemy attacking. Uh, okay. So nobody's damage goes up unless um, um, Nayeli gets attacked. All right. But, yeah, all those chests, all that stuff, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, actually having those characters on my team with all the awesome loot that they're going to have. Um, with the regular chests and stuff that we had, we already did get this majestic rapier for Jarlaxle. Man, I'm burping a lot and stuff over here. I did have dinner right before this, though. <laughs> All right. But before I get sucked in here too much more and wasting a whole bunch of my time, which I'm good at doing, I'm going to sign this out with you guys. Uh, if you can do the usual for me, like, subscribe, comment, tell me uh, what you liked about this game if you're a D&D &D player. Um, tell me what your favorite uh, uh, character you've ever played as. Uh, or maybe a detail from your favorite campaign you've ever played. Um, I love D&D &D and been meaning to uh, get back into that with uh, some friends of mine who I used to play with in the past. Uh, though we all live in different states, so it would somehow have to be online. But, you know, we'd make it work. But, all right, that's it for this one. So, in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.